welcome back to Left Coast EV and welcome back to a, another video. Um, today is the start of a brand new series that I want to be doing on the channel. And I'll just briefly explain what it is going to be. So right now I am in the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus and we are simulating a road trip. So as you guys can see the weather is absolutely terrible. And I'm sure you can hear the rain on the window. It's just November in BC. It's, uh, yeah, it's terrible. It's three o'clock right now, but it feels like nighttime almost. So um, I'm simulating a road trip. I am on the number one highway. And what I wanna do is I wanna drive this car down to below 10%. As I get below 10%, I'm gonna plug in the supercharger that we have, a brand new one version 3 250 kilowatt supercharger that we have here um, and I'm going to drive there and I'm going to do a um, charging test the charging test is going to look at the 10 to 80 percent charging time so if you were going on a road trip in this vehicle the Tesla Model 3 standard range plus when is the best time to unplug and continue on your trip that is what we're going to find out today because obviously as many of you know it makes no sense to be always charging to 80 percent because it does taper towards the end and you don't want to be wasting that time unless you have to unless you and your family are having a meal or you yourself need some time to relax but if you're on a road trip and time is important for you not to waste any precious time on the road then today we're going to find out how long it takes from 10 to 80 percent and also when it's a good time to unplug and continue on your trip. All right, so right now my battery is um, being heated or as Tesla like to call it, preconditioned for supercharging. And we are going to be um, arriving at the supercharger. We're gonna be plugging in and we're gonna see what the numbers tell us. Uh, there is also going to be a spreadsheet available to you guys through Google Docs. Um, that's gonna be linked in the description of the video. Welcome to check it. As I got more cars, I'm going to be updating that um, spreadsheet. Obviously, the next car I wanna do is my Kia uh, Soul EV that I have at my disposal. So definitely that's going to be the next car and we're going to do that for every car that I have and I get to drive. So um, yeah, let me get there to the supercharger and once I'm there, let me plug in and begin the test and then see how we do. Okay guys, right off the start, we're hitting our peak speeds here, 167 kilowatt, which is very, very amazing. I, I, I love I love how fast uh, the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus charges. And two minutes in, we're already at 20%. This is amazing. Uh, I started with a little bit under 10%. Okay, I started with around, I think it would be seven or eight percent. Um, and that's what I suggest most people do. So three minutes in, we're at 27 percent. We're still way above 100 kilowatt. We're at 122 to 121 right now. Um, and we keep riding that nice curve that we get from, from the battery and the supercharger. Now, mind you, this is a V3 supercharger. So it's the fastest one that Tesla has right now. So keep that in mind. 35 percent, we're still at 100. Now we dipped a little bit after 35%. So now it's thinking about, okay, when should I unplug? And I've, I've got my uh, suggestions for you guys. So right now um, we're still doing well in the 40s. Okay, we're at 80 kilowatt. I would still keep charging. I would actually keep charging until 50. So that would be my first time that I would think about unplugging and going to the next um, supercharger because look at this guys, we're inching closer and closer to 50 and we're only 10 minutes into our charging session, okay? only 10 minutes in, which is amazing speed. So let's see what the numbers really are at 50. So at 50, we are 11 minutes in, we're still at around 70 kilowatts. So this is amazing speeds. I really, really love the curve on the, on the car. Even though this is the cheapest Tesla you can buy, it's still amazing. Now for most people, 50 is enough. Unplug and go. If you need a little bit extra, because the next supercharger that you want to hit is a little bit further away, I would say the next threshold is about 60%. Okay, so let's look at how much time we need to get to 60%. So we're still in the 60 kilowatt. We're getting closer to 60% right now. 
and I think we're gonna hit 60% in about 16 minutes. Um, yes, 16 minutes, 57 kilowatt at 60%. Now, for most applications, I would unplug right now, okay? Um, if you do need a little bit more in terms of range, in terms of um, time, and maybe you need to go and, and eat something really quickly, I would say keep going with your charge until it dips below 50 kilowatt, which in this case is going to be around 66%. Um, we're gonna hit 66 and it drops below 50. So that would be the time that I would say, okay, time to leave. Get the kids in the car, go to the next stop. Because anything under 50, it's just slow. And you're paying for that. So you might as well maximize your time, go to the next supercharger, and do whatever else you need to do when you get there. Um, obviously, if you need a longer charging stop, then yes, you can go up to 80. You can go up to 90 if you really wanted to, because you need to go eat or do whatever. But as you guys can see, when we're in the 70s right now, we're in the 40 kilowatt. Mind you, this is better than most EVs at this state of charge. It's way better than my other EV, the Kia Soul EV. But you know, on a Tesla, really, you don't need to be there anymore. Um, so let's see how long it takes to get to finally 80%. So we're at 26 minutes right now. Um, the goal always is, then you get to 80 in about 30 minutes. So I'm hoping that that's going to happen again on a V3 supercharger. On a V2, it might be much slower than this, okay? But we're almost there, we're almost there. Um, and we're going to hit the 80% very, very fast now. So we're at 29 minutes, we're almost hitting 30 minutes. We're hitting 30 minutes right now, we hit 80%. It's gotta to go to the end of the 80. So. Um, looking at my video footage that took 30 minutes and 27 seconds to go from 10 to 80 in a Tesla standard range plus, which to me is amazing. And if people are saying, hey, you know what, um, it's hard to, um, you know, to, to, to drive electric vehicles because of the charging thing, I always say, don't bother with that. It's one of the best things you can do. And especially in a Tesla, you just drive up, plug in, go do what you need to do. You have your app on your phone. You know exactly when you need to um, pull out, <laughs> unplug, <laughs> not pull out, um, and then continue, continue on your journey. So I would say my recommendation for most people, 50%. That's 11 minutes, 36 seconds on a V3 supercharger. That is amazing. You need a bit extra, 60%. That's 16 minutes, 24 seconds on a V3 supercharger. Anything above that, it's only when necessary, when you do need to have a longer stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For full stats on this charging session, I have a Google document linked below with all the information there. I'm going to be adding new cars as they come available to me. And the next one obviously is going to be the Kia Soul EV because that's something that I have in the garage right now. But as I get access to more cars, hopefully um, in the future, I will be adding those as well. It's good to know 10 to 80 is your standard always when you are on a road trip. All right, thank you so much for watching the video um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and goodbye.